What a difference a year makes. Last night we had more moisture settle in the grass than we had for rain all last season. It's absolutely incredible. I'm not exactly sure where the honey flow is at right now. We had it start really hard, but we've been delayed now with a little bit of weather. And that sudden surge, I think some of that was alfalfa, all that's been cut. So right now we're just on the ditch clover and the canola fields. It'll be interesting to see once this warmth resumes exactly how intense this flow continues on. Just filled in a few holes in this yard with some nukes that are just freshly mated. These colonies were ones that we'd pulled out because of potential queen failure, dropped a queen cell in, got her going again, and now I'm just going through the apiary, finding any open spots, just filling them in, just trying to keep my numbers static here. And while I'm doing that, I'm just taking an ever so curious peek to see whereabouts these colonies are staged. Uh, about, was it nine days ago, we went through and we added boxes onto these colonies. And I added them pretty generously. And I've anticipated we're gonna start pulling honey on Monday, but that's, that's not gonna happen. The flow hasn't uh, followed through with the intensity I first thought it was at. And that is just a matter of assessing, you know, continually assessing the conditions as we watch these colonies bring in all this abundance. So what's going on here is these bees right to the yeah there's some that box is a little bit heavy but bees right to the top so that's good. They're not packed full of honey. Yeah There's weight in that top box. Let's take a look. I don't have my smoker on. See, quite healthy. So that, well that one's full. But it's not cured yet at all. Looking at the outside. They're just working on the outside there. Uh, to do a proper assessment, let's just take a closer look. I always like to stay a uh, box ahead if I can. Uh, the colonies that I'm going to pull right away, I like to tighten up. Meaning that I don't give them as much space, so they plug the chambers a little bit more, make them heavier, and then that way I have more, so I'm not wasting space, I can put that space further down the line, so I don't have a huge abundance of box resource, so this one isn't as full. I've got a ways to go yet on these boxes. That crop is coming to bloom, it's about 20% bloom right now, so we have two and a half weeks on that. filling it full of nectar, but nowhere even close. So if I was projecting to start, I was getting a little anxious with my initial assessments, but um, I'm just gonna start on Monday, that's way too soon. I'm gonna have to push that to the following Monday. So what I think I might do is push it to set the first set of escapes a couple days before the long weekend, give the crew the weekend off and then pull honey in that following Tuesday. And by that time, these hives should, should have had more than enough time to gather the surplus that is out there and cure it. I have to anticipate things being a little bit delayed because last year we were setting boards already. And the next few days we were churning out honey. But this year we've always been at least three to four weeks behind. 
as has the crop and everything else. So I just had to follow that mindset also. So push things back, push things back, and just let things happen. This business is, it can get you really, it's almost like put you on a manic depressive type of cycle. Uh, they'll send you on these terrible lows and then the bees will send you on these extreme highs as they go through you've got to make sure that you don't get caught down in that dip of the low and uh, misassess or uh, not follow through accordingly because you're in that depressed cycle you got to maintain operations you got to maintain momentum because they're going to come back but you know on the flip side of that you get onto the top side of that cycle and gets you overly optimistic and overly keen and then when you start coming back down from the top of the cycle, you're like, oh shit. And if you don't watch it, you'll end up to the bottom of that dip. So we just kind of got to take the peaks and the valleys away and stay that middle ground as we're trying to assess these colonies. Develop a plan, figure out what's going on, keep watching to make sure you understand what's going on, and then stick to the plan. Because about nine days ago, I was like, oh, whoa, 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 we're going to be extracting honey, you know, on the 25th. But no, we're not you know meter out that enthusiasm we're going to be pushing it a little bit further than that probably august looks like august and that is just fine because that is what's happening the sea of yellow has appeared and we just have to wait for it to come in <laughs> 